Hi, it's me, the Acris for Fun. Previously, I've talked about how to manage your algae problems, which is linked right here. For the part two of my Algae 101 series, I'll be talking about the top three myths that surrounds algae. Right before we start talking about the myths, please subscribe to my channel as I am now more than a third of our goal, which is 1,000 subscribers. Okay, so let's start with myth number one. Excess nutrients can cause algae. That's suspicious. This myth is probably one of the longest standing algae myth. Back in the olden days, this myth is being passed around as a fact. It's facts! It's facts! It's in our facts! These sizes are facts! It's in our facts! It's in our facts. <laughs> But as we progress and develop our scientific processes, this fact is now a myth and it needs to be debunked. Excess nutrients will never cause algae on its own. Plus, have you guys ever heard of the EI method? I'll be linking that video in the description box below. But long story short, EI method is when we dose nutrients in excess in order to have a surplus of nutrients and promote unhindered growth for plants. Mr. Tom Barr popularized this new method of fertilization. And here is a picture of his tank. Uh, yeah, I don't see any algae here. So, who is this Mr. Tom Barr? Wait a minute! Who are you? Mr. Tom Barr is someone who's researched plant science in a significant amount. And he is also a manager of a large horticulture outfit in Europe. So that includes a bunch of sharp researchers and professors who are well published. Basically, it's just a hobbyist that seemed to have issues with the EI method and needs convincing. The only nutrient that is solely to blame here is ammonia or ammonium. And I've talked about it plenty of times from my previous video. Ammonia or ammonium, ammonia or ammonium, ammonium or ammonia, ammonium or ammonia. Ammonia, ammonia, from ammonium. Ammonia or ammonium, ammonia, 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 ammonia. And guess what? Ammonia, of course, ammonia. This is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. Okay, so just in case you missed it, algae spores use ammonia or ammonium as their primary nutrient source. And as they mature, that's when they will start using other nutrients as well. So there's basically one nutrient that promotes algae growth. That's ammonia or ammonium. So does excess nutrients cause algae? No! No! This is a perfect example. I've been overdosing this tank with nutrients and I haven't had any algae problems ever since. So myth number one is pure fiction. Debunked. Myth number two, adding more algae eaters will solve your algae problems. <sighs> algae eaters like amano shrimp, red cherry shrimp, autosynclus, Siamese algae eaters, they can help limit any minor algae bloom that occurs naturally even in a healthy aquarium. But the moment you think that these beautiful creatures will be the cure-all for all the fuck-ups you've done in the past three months? You stupid. No, no. What's 9 plus 10? 21. You stupid. <sighs> you need some help. They are so small that they can barely make a dent in the algae problems of a tank, say, this size. Okay, okay, I hear you. How about we put in bigger algae eaters? Bigger species like the Costumus, for example. But Pacostomus or any other related species, they only eat algae at a young age. And as they mature, they'll even produce more waste to a similar sized fish. In order to solve these algae problems, you've got to solve what's causing this algae. And your lack of algae eaters isn't the cause of your algae problems. So no, adding algae eaters will not solve your algae problems. Myth number two is debunked. Myth number three, sunlight can cause algae. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. 
This is a myth and I can personally attest to this. This tank right here is exposed to a south, southwest, basically a south facing window. And if you have a south facing window, you basically have a ton of sunlight and I don't have any algae problems. The only reason why this myth is being spread around is because when that light, sunlight, which is a very strong light, hits your aquarium and your aquarium isn't prepared, meaning you don't have enough CO2, you don't have enough nutrients, that's when your plants suffer. I'm gonna give you an analogy, okay? An example. Imagine me running on a marathon. You will give me adrenaline. I'll be pumped up. I'll be very energetic. Hold it. <laughs> Imagine me running on a marathon with adrenaline injection, but I have a nose plug and I haven't eaten for two days. Even I doubt that I'll finish that marathon midway. The same thing happens when your tank receives such strong light and your tank isn't prepared for such a strong light. So no, technically sunlight does not cause algae, but rather it is due to your tank's lack of CO2 and nutrients to support such high light. Myth number three is debunked. Ooh, after watching this video, did I hurt your feelings? I hope that now you are a more knowledgeable aquarist. Don't forget to subscribe and leave this video with a thumbs up. In this channel, I talk about aquascaping, fish keeping, and some general tips and guides on how to be a better aquarist. So that's it for me. Bye.